Katie Stampers, it's Gainer again and I've been having a, I saw a card on Pinterest and I clicked on it and the lady did not give no instructions whatsoever, I can't even remember her name now, oh gosh, Craft with Maria or something it was I think, I can't remember, her name was Maria but it was crafting something with Maria, oh what they called, I can't remember that, but Everyone in the description bar was asking, how do you make this card? Is there a tutorial? And she just didn't give, she, she said she just Googled trifold cards and well, I tried that. But And then I just thought, no, look at the card, you can do it, you've got math skills. So I went away and figured it out. Uh, I did a couple of attempts. First one, I cut my card too short, but I'll turn that into a card anyway. And I'm using the free as a bird again. I just love this set. I don't think it can be used often enough. I just think it needs to be used quite a lot more than what it is. Because we've got all these new sets and then we go along and then... But it's a half a trifold card. If It's not. It's a it's a three quarters of a trifold card, if you know what I mean. So it's not all the whole card. So this is it. And it's dead cute. Love it. And it says the world needs more of you. And it just opens up like this. So that section is the trifold. This section is just like a normal card base and it all shuts flat to give you a four by five and seven eighths card. You will need a piece of 12 by 12. I, I, I didn't want to fart around with literally three quarters. You would have only given me two eighths of an inch. So one of the card pieces would have been a one eighth of an inch shorter. So I, I just thought, just do it in 12. And I've got 12 cardstock. So this is 12 by 5 and 7 eighths. And it's so simple. So I'm going to get my Stampin' Up trimmer. I've just had to change the blade again. <laughs> I'm not even going to pull the arm out. How's that? We can do it. It's that simple. We can score this at 4. Flick it around and score it at four again. Either that or pull the arm out and score it at four and eight. Then we're going to put this in. Then you're going to need your blade. You're literally going to pop this in at one and a half inches. And we're going to take this down to two. And we're going to cut all the way down to six. And then we're going to take it out, flip it over, in at one and a half again, close this, and from six, all the way back up to two. Simples, move the blade, and then we're going to pop this in at two inches, and we're going to score between the cut lines, so down to the cut line, and then up to the cut line. It's already scored in the centre here so go over to the six inch mark and again just score up to the score line and from that score line. Simples. Right don't fold anything yet I'll show you. So we know our card folds this way because we, that's our back of our card so Fold and burnish. Right, fold in the centre and at the same time pop these two sides out. And then you can just fold that flat and burnish. And it's that simple. Everything's lined up perfect. It all matches. Just got a crease in there and you've got a crease in there. I like to go over the edge because when you cut with a trimmer it leaves grooves on your card. So I like to go over the cut lines. And there we have it. How simple is that? It's gorgeous isn't it? Now this bit really did me head in but I think I've sussed out to do it. <laughs> so let me show you my book. Trifold layout card because the back bit just lays out as normal. 
So it's 5 and 7 eighths by 12. Score the long side at 4 and 8. Pop it into the trimmer at 1 and a half and cut from 2 down to 6. Flip it over and repeat. You're going to need three pieces at 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths for your layers and four at 1 and 3 eighths by 1 and 7 eighths. Your DSP, you're going to need two at three and a half by five and three eighths and four at one and a quarter by one and three quarters. And you're going to need a piece of whisper white, which is three and five eighths by five and three eighths. When we're, going to, when we're coming to do the cutting now, we're going to pop one in at one and a three quarters and cut down to one and a half. And then with the DSP and flip and do it again, I'll show you now. The DSP goes in at one and a half and we cut down to one and a half. Because our papers are getting smaller, our measurements don't. <laughs> so if you want to pause that now and write all that down and come back, I'm more than happy to keep it there for a minute just while you pause. Cha-ching! Let's go. We're going to need our trimmer again. I hope I don't mess this up. Oh, my nail. So fetch your your blade back up. You've got your three pieces. Just keep one for the back, you don't need to cut that one at all. So this goes in at one and three quarters. And we cut down to one and a half. So to do that on the other side, just flip it over one and three quarters, we're already at one and a half, cut back up. And then we're basically just going to put this at one and three quarters and cut up to that line. I can see there, isn't that better? And you can hear it go. You just want to flip and repeat. I'm just going to check my lines that are in the trimmer. I'm going to cut it away like that. And because I've done it with the trimmer, I'm just smoothing out those cut lines. And making it neat. So fingers crossed, that fits in there beautifully. I'm going to trim a tiny little bit off that because it does it did it on me last time. So I'm going to take that down to three and five eighths. I think I should have cut it to three and five eighths anyway. Yeah. Yes, three and five eighths, not three and seven eighths. Sorry. So let's get this one and cut this to three and five eighths. Feather off. My fault. And again, in at one and three quarter. Oh, cut down to one and a half. Turn it over and flip. Pop it down and take it out. And then we need to just trim up. There we go. Flip. The sooner cut up to that line, then until you feel it come away. And then just squash these ends down. I've just changed that blade, believe it or not. So it's okay for these, but when you come to do your DSP. Maybe I should have trimmed it up afterwards, but not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. So they can go on there and there. Bit of a big gap on that one, isn't there? But save these now because if you did, I've already got mine cut, but you could then cut these to the one and three eighths by one and seven eighths. 
they're already at one and seven eighths and you can take these down to the one and three eighths and just trim that little bit off and then you've got your squares ready for your DSP and I think my DSP I've just done that wrong haven't I these should be one and a quarter that's why I've cut these at one and three eighths <laughs> by one and three quarters <coughs> and then that fits on there beautifully that's it perfect so I've cut all these the wrong one and three quarters do you know you've been cutting paper and your measurements all seem to stay the same don't they so by one and three eighths. Oops, that's skidded. Just do one at a time, gainer. One and three eighths. I don't want to chop him off. There we go, that's better. We've got our pieces now. And I've already cut mine down. Why did it look wider? Because I'm cutting them to one and three eighths instead of one and a quarter. I'll get there in the end. I wondered why that looked a bit long one and a quarter gainer one and a quarter that's better get rid of all that in a minute so they'll layer up on there now beautifully yay oh we did it we got there in the end girls as a silly sausage there we go so there's my pieces but you can keep those bits that you've just cut out to, to actually make those so oh now for the DSP oh right this with the DSP you want I'm cutting the two together so because it's directional paper that one is anyway that one doesn't look too bad I'm just gonna put them on top of each other and cut them at the same time so this one goes in at one and a half and you cut down to one and a half and then you flip it over one and a half that's already at one and a half and then take these off so I'm just lining up where those little holes are and I'm going to trim until they come off and you could do the same with these cut these down if, off your DSP if you hadn't already got them cut like I had to save on cut stuff just until they pop out and you'd have your four little pieces then so you could save those. Let me just test. Oh, moment of truth. So. That's not too, oh, that's not got no boulder hardly, has it? Oh, I'd sooner just do it slowly though, like this, and just take fractions off. So um, I'll tell you what I'm, I'm going to do with that, I'm going to do it with my scissors because I feel a bit unsure because I did mess up a couple of times. So I'm just going to take an eighth of an inch further. It might be that I can't see down my trimmer without lifting. I should have lifted it up, shouldn't I, to have a look. So again, about an eighth of an inch. Let's 
let's test that. I'd sooner cut a little bit extra off than not have it at all. And I'm going to take a slither off that side because we cut our papers. I keep forgetting about the border. So let me test that piece for you now. So now this measures three and three eighths. Perfect. Let's test it again. It's so much easier to do this. Perfect now. So again, I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to take a slither. So wait there. Three and three eighths. And I'm just going to test on this piece because this is upside down now. That one's perfect. How is one perfect and not the other? I'm going to take a tiny little slither off the top. Try that. That's perfect. Perfect. So let's get this out the way before I start cutting anything else off that I shouldn't. <laughs> oh bless. We got there in the end. I'd sooner take little amounts off and then get it right than take a load off and then get it wrong. Ooh, let's get some glue out, girls, while we're here, quickly. Get these glued on. I bought two packs of this designer series paper because I made an album with one packet. And I've still got quite a bit of it left, actually. So I didn't really have to buy another packet if I didn't want to, but I have got plenty of this paper. If I get my ruler now, let me just put that to one side. So it's one and three quarters of the cardstock, and pull that in, and it is one and a half. And you need to come down one and a half. So I was right. Yeah, I was right. One and a half. Beautiful. So I've, I've had these die cut out for ages and I have fussy cutted a whole sheet when I first got the papers. So they're going to get attached on there after we've stamped. This is going to get layered onto our third piece, which is here. I'm not worrying about stamping on it first because I, did, I got everything right. And I feel confident I can do that again. But if you want to stamp first, you can. And this is just a, an eighth of an inch all around smaller. Perfect. So let's glue this piece on. It's just my trimmer. That stamping up arm moves on me. It's never... Unless you click it into place at the top before you make every cut. Oh, it's going to be a pain in the bum because then you'd have to want to clip it just to move your paper. I'm glad to see what they're going to come out with next. And whether I'm going to buy it or not. So that needs to come down a fraction. Look at that, it's beautiful. Doopy doo, doopy doo. And then they fit on there. That's got a really big, huge border on it, hasn't it? Don't worry because we're going to cover it up anyway. With the. Uh, our oval sentiment. Let me just check. If I put that there, that's going to come too close. That's as 
do have it a bit too close to cover the... I think Mammy's made a boo-boo on the first one. Because this one, look, look, it's bigger. Why is it bigger? Oh, well, just get it on there again. It's a handmade card pod. If you want perfection, then go to the shop. <laughs> Oh, look, don't rub out your score lines, you silly sausage. And then this is going on the inside. Got a bit of stupid back pain, as they call it. Oh, you know when you've been stupid over on you? all these little bits on here as well so I turned them round to have the yellow and I'm going to do that again even though I'm covering up those gorgeous little birds just offsets the card and carries the eye a little bit better make sure they're on there nice and neat Love me fun fall cards. Don't I used to do them loads. <clears throat> Frog in my throat. Perfect. Last one. Dog loves it when I do sing that to her. She goes scatty. When I hum that to her, she goes mental around the kitchen. She thinks she's going to have a treat. Bless her. So I'm just going to give them a quick rub out because I can see where the trimmer's cut my card. That one looks a bit offset. That's when I made a bit of a boo boo on the trimmer, remember. a lot of layering and up but it's worth it absolutely worth it I mean with this bit here you could add some ribbon and lace you know it's entirely up to you they got small really small borders these out otherwise you could have cut them at quarter of an inch smaller but then You wouldn't have had a lot showing. Right, feety pies. Oh, that was lucky, wasn't it? You got the feet going the right way, so. You've got the tiniest white border all around, but I love that. I mean, you don't even have to add layers if you don't want to. You could have just added the DSP, but go on the size of the layer size. You want to cut back on cardstock. Perfect, nice little white border. So pop them back, pop that forward. There's all our bits attached. I'm going to need the glue again, so don't put that away yet. So I'll stamp my uh, sentiment in a minute. And then we can do a bit more stamping on the inside. I did show you the inside, didn't I? Yeah, I stamped that beautiful bird. Thank you. And those gorgeous flowers. Just sweet as can be. So these two are going to get just halfway down.
just going to sit about there. And I am going to pop a dimensional on the back of that little one's head. And he's going to get tucked this beautiful leaf. If I can just pop that up quickly. Nope, I'm going to have to do it this side. Oh, I've stuck that well and truly down, haven't I? So perhaps I just stick that there. And then when they go on there, perfect, taking the distraction. You could add that onto that corner even, but then you can't because you, it'll be too wide for your card. So let's grab some dimensionals. a small dimensional behind here and it will help with the feather as well Gainer, what are you doing? You've got to stamp your message <laughs> I'll add it to the card and then do it See, oh gosh see if I can because I want to do the sentiment before I place that little bunch of flowers yay oh I thought it was gonna <laughs> put my pin back in This is just to gather up, just to set off that sentiment even more. Isn't that beautiful. So we've got the flowers there. We can flowers. We're gonna add some dimensionals. No, we're not. We're gonna add some rhinestones even. Kane is gonna do lolly today. So let's open our card out. light that was. Give it two minutes to dry. If not, I'm just going to grab another piece of white and pop it over the top. This is what you get, Gaina, when you've got the dropsies. I'm just adding two of those gorgeous little flowers around the side. And then on my words, thank you. believe I just dropped that. How much sandy racing I'm going to be doing on that one. Because that's not a smudge. <laughs> Jennifer, come and get this off of me. <laughs> oh bless, that is not a smudge. Right, I'm getting them out of the way because I'm going to turn my card and I'll end up smudging the back of that as well. So let's see. I'll be here all day. Not a chance. Oh, well, you get my drift. I will fix that later. I'm just going to colour it in to show you what I did. Oh, I can't believe that. Just my luck in it. So this is the light balmy blue. I know it's not even any of the colours that come with this kit, but I just thought it looked beautiful on this bird. Just blend it all over doesn't take long. And I just come in with the shadows. Do 
do these tail, uh, these lined feathers here, just a little bit darker. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. We could put a mirror there, false mirror, and then put a hall of mirrors. How's that? <laughs> You've got to have a laugh, haven't you? So I'm just doing my dark first on the flowers and where the petals turn over because they would be darker underneath. And the same on the little ones, just adding a few. And then come in with the light. Blend that all in. I'd use the other end, but the nib gone on that as well. I mean, do you know what? I know it's only for one pen, but the Copic markets are the same as these combos. And they've got way more colours. I might just invest in buying them. Buy one a week or something. But 368 weeks. <laughs> oh gosh, that would take me about eight years. Well, about seven. But there you go, apart from my mistake of dropping my stamp, just stamp another one and just colour it in. But there we go. There it is. There's my trifold layout card because it lays out like a normal card and then it trifolds as you open it. So look at there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What do you reckon girls? Do you like it? Would you give it a go? I love it, love it, love it, love it. I'll lay this one. Well, I'll lay this one down so you can't see that one. Me boo boo. <laughs> there you go. So, oh, I've got to go. Wait, my gems. Let me just add a few gems. It's one card I would give out by hand. I don't think I would slap this in the post because it's quite a weight. And I'm just gonna have another one there. Um, I did add three in there as well on this one, but. Maybe you would have to put some card in to protect the inside, I don't know, but there we go. My try bold layout card, because it lays out lovely like a normal card. And if you want to do a simpler option for this, simply just cut your strips down according to the sizes of each panel. That would be another great one. So this would be one and a half, uh, one and three quarters by five and five eighths and then this section here you'd leave a little gap and this would probably, let me just get my tape measure again because this is two so one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths and then add your DSP that way so you're blocking it instead of trying to cut out fancy like that, like that one but it does work, and I did get it right on this one. <laughs> Always goes wrong on camera, doesn't it? Hence the fact that that one's laying down for you to see, and this one's standing out. <laughs> but there you go, I hope you give it a go. I had so much fun making it anyway. Thanks for watching. Love the thumbs up and a share. And if you didn't like the video, don't press subscribe. <laughs> but if you did, please do. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.